face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. That's one of the scriptures the Lord told me to read. Another that he told me to read is Ezra chapter 8 and verse 21. And Ezra says, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from him a right way. How many of you need a word of direction from God? For us and for our little ones, how many of you want God to bless your offspring, your children, your grandchildren, and all of our possessions? How many of you want the Lord to bless your stuff, <laughs> your possessions, your goods? For I was ashamed to request of the king an escort of soldiers and horsemen to help us against the enemy on the road because we had spoken the king saying the Lord our God is upon all those for good who seek him but his power and his wrath are against those who forsake them. How many of you have testified about the power of God? Listen in this convocation we are going to live out our testimony. We are not going to rely upon the arm of flesh or upon men. We are depending on Almighty God. And Ezra said, we sought the Lord and we fasted and entreated our God for this. And he answered our prayer. Would you tell two people God is going to answer our prayer this week? Oh, put a petition before the Lord. Believe God for a miracle. Seek God for what you need. And the Lord will meet your need. Two more scriptures, Matthew 5 and 6. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Are there any hungry people? Are there any thirsty people in the house? Oh, listen, much is going to be going on. Announcements are going to be made. Songs are going to be sing, sung. And, and, and preachers are going to share and speak the word of the Lord and make observations and greet us. But in the midst of it all, God wants you to be hungry and thirsty for him. Would you tell your neighbor, I'm hungry and thirsty for him. Oh, listen, if you don't really want anything and need anything, you're not going to get anything. But if there's a hunger and a thirst in your life, would you lift up your voice and say after me, I shall be filled. Say it one more time, I shall be filled. One more scripture, I'm on my way to my seat. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 32. And Jesus said in Matthew chapter 15, verse 32, I have compassion on the multitude. Because they have now continued with me three days and have nothing to eat. And I do not want to send them away hungry, lest they faint in the way. Now Jesus was talking about their physical hunger. But if he's willing to satisfy physical hunger, how much more is he willing to satisfy spiritual hunger? And Jesus said, I have compassion. Listen, you're the object of the compassion of the Lord. God loves you more than you could ever imagine being loved. God cares about what you're confronted by. He said, I have compassion on you. And he said, I'm not going to send you away without what you need. Jesus said, I won't send them away fasting. Whatever you need, the Lord says, I'm not going to send you away without receiving what you need. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, Lord, and your word says you won't send me away without what you need. And so I don't know about you, but I'm believing God for the greatest blessing on my life that I've ever seen. I'm believing God for the power of God to fall on me. I want to speak in tongues every night and every day of this convocation. And you look at your neighbor and say, I want to speak in tongues every day and every night of this convocation. If you mess with me, I'll start doing it right now. I want to get a miracle every night. I want to be revived every night. I want God to fill me again every night.
right. And no matter what's going on on the platform, I'm going to reach out and get what God has in store for me. And by faith, would you just reach up by faith and get the blessing of the Lord and clap your hands and give praise. Come on and praise.